Okay, I have to admit, it seems kind of strange that I'm actually standing in the Walton's kitchen. This is pretty cool. Ah! Selfie! I'm in the Walton's kitchen! Ah! I'm so excited! Okay, I think this is my absolute perfect kitchen in the whole wide world. This is such a good setup. Wow. Isn't that perfect? Look at that table. Ugh. Wow. Okay, this is the kitchen I want. Look at that sink. Oh, man. You see that sink? Wow. Parking lot back there. That it's for sale. Okay, let's go in here and see. Bed and breakfast country store. Oh, it's a bed and breakfast? No way. <laughs> really? Huh? I can't believe I'm standing in front of the Walton's house. This is so cool. So absolutely cool. I'm just beside myself. I don't know what to do. Yeah. Anyway, there it is. The real deal. The real deal. So I'm standing in the Walton's real living room. So what's interesting is their living room is about as big as, big as ours. And I can't imagine having seven kids in this living room. That would be crazy. I guess kids would just sit on the floor. We're so spoiled nowadays. So here's the kitchen. Wow. This is a massive kitchen. Look at that table. What an incredible table. Ah! <gasps> My sink. Oh. I would love to have the sink. Oh my. This house was for sale and I missed it. I would have bought this house. We would have sold our house in Colorado and I would have bought this house. Yes, I would have. Oh, wow. So 
home actually sitting at a table. This probably wasn't their original table, I'm sure, but it's still cool to think. Put the little piece out here. Pretty cool. the original shed that John Boy wrote, Earl Hamner, wrote the Walton story. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so we're leaving Walton's Mountain. This was pretty cool. I am so glad that I was able to be able to stop here. I've always wanted to see this, so I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs>